ABC Kinder Teach presents Is There Room on the Feather Bed? Written by Libba Moore Gray. Illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Once there was a wee, or short, fat man and a wee fat woman who lived in a teeny tiny house at the bottom of a great green hill next to the bank of a clear running brook or small stream. They lived happily there with a large family of animals. Hmm. So they lived here and they also had a lot of animals. And look at, is this a duck? in the rain tank, a rain barrel. There was a green-headed goose, a yellow-billed duck, and a woolly white sheep, a speckled black hen, a fat pink pig, a furry brown dog, an orange-spotted cow, and a greening, or smiling, gray cat. And from time to time, a small, plump skunk, that means a skunk that has a rounded body, with a broad, or wide, white stripe down the center of its bushy back, stood upwind, in the opposite way that the wind was blowing, watching them. The other animals never let him get too close. They ran away whenever he came near. He stood upwind because they were afraid that he was going to smell. So he was trying not to have them be able to smell him if he accidentally had to spray. When the wind blew on the teeny tiny house at the bottom of the great green hill, it blew hard. And when the sun shone, it shone brightly. One day, the wind blew a dark cloud across the brightly shining sun. Soon the rain started with a quiet ping, ping, ping. Before long, the pinging turned into the loud hammering of a thousand drops that ran off the red tile roof, splashed into the rain barrel, and trickled down the bank of the clear running brook. The brook overflowed its banks and rose so high that the green-headed goose and the yellow-billed duck could no longer enjoy a good swim, so they waddled up the bank and stood under a willow tree. And this is what a willow tree looks like. That night, the wee fat man and the wee fat woman were getting ready for a good night's sleep when there came a tapping on their door. Hmm, I wonder who could be tapping. I'm thinking, yes, yes, I'm thinking it might be these two. The wee fat woman opened it. Honk, 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 quack, quack, quack. The rain is pouring on our feathered backs, said the green-headed goose and the yellow-billed duck. Why, bless your heart, such a noise. Such a fuss, there's room on the feather bed for all of us, said the wee fat woman. So the wee fat man and the wee fat woman made room for the goose and the duck, and they all settled in for a good night's sleep. Hmm, there's the man, there's the woman. They don't look like they have a lot of room, and now all of a sudden the duck and the goose are going to hop into bed with them. No sooner had their eyes closed than there came a second tapping on the door. The wee fat woman opened it. There stood the woolly white sheep and the speckled black hen who said, Meh, meh, meh. Quack, quack, quack. May we please join the goose and the duck? Why? 
Bless your heart, such a noise, such a fuss. There's room on the feather bed for all of us, answered the wee fat woman. Hmm. Boy, one, two, three, and four, plus the two people. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's going to be that much room on the bed, if you ask me. And so the wee fat man and the wee fat woman and the goose and the duck and the sheep and the hen all curled up on the feather bed and closed their eyes. Soon there was more tapping on the door. Outside stood the fat pink pig and the furry brown dog who said, Oink, 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 woof, woof, woof. May we stay beneath your warm dry roof. And the wee fat woman welcomed them to, Why, bless your hearts, such a noise, such a fuss, there's room on the feather bed for all of us. Well, I'm not so sure about that. This is a pretty big pig. And it looks like the man is getting a little bit concerned because uh, the goose is putting its feathers or its wings over on top of him. So they all moved over and soon the wee fat man and the wee fat woman and the goose and the duck and the sheep and the hen and the pig and the dog were sound asleep. Hmm. I wonder if this is the end or is there going to be other animals that come? I hope not the skunk. Just as a nice dream was beginning for them all, there came another tap on the door. The wee fat woman opened it, and this time the orange spotted cow and the grinning gray cat stood outside in a large puddle of water. They said, meow, 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 moo, 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 we'd like to come in till the sky turns blue. The wee fat woman welcomed them kindly as well, and a place was made for them on the feather bed, which by now was a little crowded. I don't think it's a little crowded. I think it's a lot crowded. I mean, just the cow and the pig by themselves, that takes up a lot of room. They take up a lot of room. Soon they were all fast asleep. Outside, the water was rising higher and higher, and rising right along with it was the teeny tiny house. It rocked gently as if it were a cradle, helping everyone to sleep soundly inside. They do look like they're sleeping soundly. Oh, but the poor skunk is not with them. It looks very sad. But before long, the wee fat woman was awakened yet again by another tap, tap, tap on the door. A now very sleepy wee fat woman opened it and was astonished to find the small plump skunk who sang out, I'm a small plump skunk who cannot swim. I'm asking politely, may I please come in? The wee fat woman scooped up the small skunk and said, why, bless your heart, such a noise, such a fuss. There's room on the feather bed for all of us. Oh, oh my, I don't know. It seems like the feather bed's pretty crowded and the skunk may be stinky. But when she helped him up onto the bed, oh, the green-headed goose woke and cried, Skunk! Hmm. What's going to happen now? Ooh, everybody seemed to have woken up, except maybe the lady, I can't tell. And the skunk seemed to be pretty asleep. And with that, the wee fat man, the green-headed goose, and the yellow-billed duck, the woolly white sheep, and the speckled black hen, the fat pink pig, and the furry brown dog, the orange-spotted cow, and the grinning gray cat scattered into the dark, wet night. So everybody took off because they did not want to sleep with the skunk. 
It, and even the man left. I wonder where he went. It didn't take long before they began to think about the soft, dry weatherbed. Finally, the green-headed goose called out to the others. We do, we do. Maybe we shouldn't have raised such a fuss. Skunk's cozy inside, but just look at us. Oh, look. This man is out in the water in his rocking chair and his pajamas. The cow is up on the roof. The duck and the goose are on this roof. The sheep is holding on to the railing. Ooh, and look at they're sleeping so nicely. Inside, the wee fat woman and the small plump skunk were beginning to worry about the wee fat man and the other animals when they heard a tapping at the door. The wee fat woman opened it. Honk, honk, honk. Achoo, achoo. We've been so silly. Is there room for us too? Said the green-headed goose. Why, bless your hearts, such a noise, such a fuss. Oh, there's room on the feather bed for all of us. So come back inside. Let's all be friends. We'll have breakfast in bed until the rain ends, said the wee fat woman. So they all decide that it's better to sleep with the skunk than to be caught out here in the wet rain. And so they did. <laughs> and they're eating breakfast in bed. All of a sudden, this bed looks a lot bigger than it did at the very beginning of the story, doesn't it? And it looks like afterwards they all became friends. <laughs>